Monster X Newton. So Newton is the unit of measurement for force. What's Monster X trying to say? Is this a song that's supposed to be a force that's to be reckoned with? They are a force? Are they gonna push us? Are they gonna give us the energy we need? We'll only find out by getting right into it. So, here we go. Oh, he's in a field with a wind turbine. Is this Europe? So progressive. What are you looking for? Are you looking for the force? Is this like Star Wars? Or it starts like a 90s song. Ooh, I want that dinosaur. <laughs> it's so soft hearted. For some reason it being named Newton, I would have expected to like force you out of your seat. Guess it's a, a happy force. Oh wait, are we gonna get a breakdown? Lipton. Is this a tea commercial? <laughs> it's a tea commercial. This is a tea commercial. Yup. It's okay though, my mom and dad drink Lipton. <laughs> See, I wouldn't be okay with it if the song sucked, but it doesn't. Oh, high kick. Okay, yeah, you could do feet tricks. Is this Lipton <laughs> advertising their new wind turbines? They make the scent of tea go out. Bold journal. You just have to write in bold in it. <laughs> I thought he was gonna put it on. <laughs> That's real, just put on your it's, it's, it's made for your head, not your hand. <laughs> that was totally a blooper and they're like, we're keeping it. <laughs> What's interesting is it's a mix of like 90s and like the modern EDM, but it's tastefully done. It has those light transitions. It's not like blasting out like just heavy, heavy like sounds, like clipping the whole time. Oh, that looks like a lot of fun. He looks a little nervous. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that! What? Oh, with the Lipton. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, did you see the neon light back there? What are they, uh, what? What? <laughs> I, I, I think I read that wrong. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> so I have a love-hate relation with wind turbines, because they're, like, good for wind energy. But they're so inefficient. It does say it totally just says that with the heart. Do they know what that says? I don't think they realize. I do not think they understand what that says. It's, it's their subliminal message saying they actually hate Lipton. And he wore the hell, the, the bunny head. <laughs> it's. <laughs> Am I reading this something wrong here? <laughs> That does not say luck. That does not say luck. It has a heart. <laughs> this was very lighthearted. Super, like, way lighthearted. More lighthearted than I thought. Instead of going with, like, a more, like, uh, summery, tropical sound, they wanted to deviate from that. And they decided to go something that was a mix of a 90s kind of style, like a very boy band esque 90s style, but give it, like, reinvigorate it with more of the electronic sounds that we hear now. But really, that's all just supposed to be back layering for their voices, which were very, very, very on the higher pitch side. Nothing really too deep. Wanting to keep it relaxing. It was, it definitely looked like a product placement 
for Lipton tea and that's okay. I'm, I'm totally okay with product placements of some certain groups or anything really in the, like any entertainment industry, as long as it doesn't take away from the actual song itself or the music video. And it just, it looked like they were having fun. They, you know, I pictured scenes without the drinking of the tea, but that's fine. Um, I do know that Starship does have a lot of partnerships with Lipton, but I did enjoy it. I also did like the scenery. They decided to go with the whole vacation style of being in Europe with wind turbine. Overall, it was a nice song. Not necessarily the kind of music I listen to because this is too lighthearted for me. It doesn't necessarily appeal to me like uh, Shine Forever would because that one has a bit more of like impact and a bit more of the bassiness which I like because that's just the kind of music I listen to. But this is definitely a good listen and was a very nice change of pace from what we have been hearing this summer. So all in all, Monster X still does a good job and I think it's called Newton because it forces you, like, you know, it's a force to be happy. Okay, but uh, hold on. We're not done yet. Is that, am I wrong? I don't think I'm wrong. Is that an L? I thought the cursive L was like, I'll put it on the screen, and that looks like an F. I'm just, I'm just saying there's a bit of a contrast here. I think I'm missing something. I don't know, I need you, <laughs> I need you guys to explain it to me. Do they not know English or know what that means? Cause there's like a little heart at the end and I'm like, mm, this doesn't fit the mood of the song. I don't know if I should really point it out, but I'm totally gonna point it out because it's hilarious. If, if there was a sign like that in any of the grittier ones, I'd be like, whatever. But it's the fact that it's neon pink, has a heart at the end of it, and Newton just has such a like lighthearted feel. Then you see that and you're like, oh, what are you trying to tell me? What is going on? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like. And until next time, peace. Oh, I so